minutes. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Jazz Shelley off the mark. Yeah, her, she's had some good shots that you haven't fallen for. Zaya Cook all alone for three. Yeah. She's got 19. Who's ever defending her, no matter what, you've got to get back. And it, I think it was Jazz Shelley, but somebody's got to rotate back while she's taking the shots. Amy Atwell buries the triple. Amy Atwell trying to make this team the product out of Hawaii, originally from Perth, Australia. Buck and a half to go. Cook directing traffic. Burrell goes crashing into the front row. She's okay. Uh, Atwell with the no fear on that shot. Well, the Sparks have lived at the free throw line 24 of 26, 13 of 15 for the. Well, now Phoenix is in the bonus, so that's why Burrell is shooting the free throws with a minute and a half to go. Burrell gets that first one to go. 81% free throw shooter was Burrell last season. BG and hoping to come back soon. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Asia Wilson is at home going, no, rest, BG. Take your time. Don't, don't hurry back. Well, I think what was wonderful last year is how the WNBA and all the teams and players embraced BG coming back from Russia. Amy Atwell, a three-point play opportunity the old-fashioned way. Phoenix got to within two at 78 to 80, and from there, Los Angeles went on a 10-2 run. Yeah, nice little drive by Atwell. Pull-up jumper, gets fouled from behind. Atwell, 25 years old. First in career made three-pointers attempts and percentage at Hawaii, and she was a Big West Conference Player of the Year from Hawaii as well. Air Hearn picking up the personal foul. You know, so, a, such a big difference in this game. Too. So many different little things that you can say about the Mercury, and they had their spurts, but mm -hmm. being out-rebounded 40 to 20. Yeah, that's brutal. I mean, there's just no way to candy coat that. And credit to Los Angeles. They dug in. You can tell that they had a priority list coming into this game, and it was to rebound and really push in transition. They had 15 turnovers in that first half and only nine in the second half, but still 24 turnovers. I'm sure Coach Miller is not going to be too happy about that. Miller, a two-time coach of the year in the WNBA in his second season with the Sparks. Looking to finish this preseason 2-0. and oh. With both games on the road, they were up in Edmonton and then um, now here in Phoenix. So they didn't even get to have a home game. No, and it was tough flying, too, because they, they flew up their commercial. Mm. They, but they did fly back charter because they had to get back. Atwell and in and out on the three. And just being in Toronto itself, you know, you go through the passports and you've got to go through customs. And Sparks maintain possession of the basketball with under a minute to go. Well, you love the fight that this second, third unit for the Mercury had coming into this game and, as you said, had cut it to two. Zaya Cook is a problem. She's got 21 to match De'Erica Hamby for the lead in the game. And Air played good defense on her. She was there. Zaya Cook is just a special player when she came in last year and an aggressive player. But, you know, the fact that what she did in Phoenix mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and she's doing it again, year two. So 15 foul whistled against Los Angeles as that one is ticketed against Zaya Cook. So it will be Air Hearn back to the free throw line. Los Angeles looking to set the winning tone ahead of their regular season opener at home against the Dream. That's on May 15th at 7 o'clock. And they really done it without Brink. Brink mm -hmm. only played eight minutes in this game. She had seven and, and four with her four personal fouls. So, 
you know, this is a, a Mercury or a, a Sparks team that are, is going to rely on Cam and Brink a lot, I think, during the season. But oh, for sure. to be able to win a game like this and, and really kind of, again, the, the amount of players that this Sparks team has to cut is going to be tough. I know. I, I'm oh, sure gosh. every other team in the WNBA is going to be watching the waiver wire because what LA jettisons is going to be so valuable. And as a race, Stevens. Yeah. You know, at 6'6", I mean, she also plays that center position in mm -hmm. the four spot. So, yep. you know, they've got great height. They've got great guards. They've got great shooters. They've got great penetrators. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the rebounding has been stellar, especially against this Phoenix team. And, and that's one of the things that, that Nate Tibbetts has talked about. It's like, we've got to be a better rebounding team. Yes. And uh, collectively, especially. And it all starts with blocking out. 100%. Los Angeles with four players in double figures. Hamby and Cook leading the way, each with 21 points. Taking a look at the WNBA's news and notes. Of course, the league approving charter flights. Hallelujah. Candace Parker retiring from the WNBA, a Hall of Fame lock. The only player in WNBA history to win a title with three different franchises. Toronto landing an expansion team. That will happen in 2026. And the Aces and Liberty enter the 2024 season as favorites to win it all. And I will say there are plenty of teams in this league that are saying, great, you are overestimating us. Yes. And they're coming in as underdogs, whether it's in L.A. or Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, Chicago. Chicago's picked last. And they look Seattle. pretty, pretty good. Seattle. So mm -hmm. I think that they're, everybody's kind of sitting Dallas. back saying, going, okay. Yeah. Phoenix. Indiana's going to be tough. They're young, but yep. they, they've got some good players on that team. Listen, Alyssa Smith may mess around and win MVP. And nobody's talked about Alyssa Smith until the game the other night, mm -hmm. how well she played. I'm thinking they're all talking about Aaliyah Boston and Caitlin Clark, which is great, but here's a drive by Burrell and foul from behind. Yep. Another free throw. Yes. 30 free throws. 31. And the great rebound by Billings. I love her. And the rebound put back. It's is a two handed. She avoids a, ch a, a foul over the back because of her two handed rebound. And Talbot hustling back and, and stealing that ball. Shot clock is on. 12 seconds to go as Los Angeles will wrap up this victory. And Cook is going to hold the final possession. So 98-85 as L.A. flirts with a century mark, improving to 2-0 on the preseason as they get set to open the regular season on May 15th against the Dream at 7 o'clock. The Sparks will come back here to Phoenix June 2nd for Commissioner's Cup play. Annie, what was your big takeaway for the Mercury in this game? I think the biggest thing is they finding their chemistry. Yeah. And when they had good open looks, they were knocking down shots. Uh, they've got to do a better job crashing the boards. Oh, for sure, 100%. Uh, of the people that were trying to make a team, who impressed you most? Well, I think the biggest thing, too, is what position that they're going Fair to point. be in. Yeah. Who's going to fill in as a backup center? Um, is it going to be another wing mm -hmm. or a guard? So, um, yeah, will they go small? Will they? Yeah. There's so much will, to be or decided. They, or will they pick up somebody that's been cut? Yes, that's true. There's so a, much. Oh, it's, on a, the it's table. a chess match. Yes, yes, 100%. And it's all about fit, particularly. To your point earlier in the telecast, you said that, that fit matters. All right, we're going to step aside and put a bow on this one for you. It is the Los Angeles Sparks winning 98 to 85.